So it's early evening, late in the summer. I'm out in my backyard. There's lots of stuff to photograph out here. I decided it would be a good time to haul out my Sony Mavica. Um, Sony made these from the late 90s into the early 2000s, and uh, they are famous for a number of reasons. But one of them is that they record images onto floppy disk, which is pretty cool. Um, one of the issues you're going to run into with this camera, though, is the Sony Infolithium battery system. Now, this was a almost like a DRM protection that Sony brought in to make sure that people would stay in their ecosystem, uh, much in the same way that Apple does, Dell does. A lot of companies are doing that now. Um, so if you were to put a non-Sony battery into these cameras, they will start, but they will detect that it isn't an official Sony battery and then shut you down. You are forced to buy a Sony battery. Um, kind of a dick move, and uh, we used to have laws against this. So, broadly speaking, there are two different ways to get past this. Now, the first way, and the easy way, is to go on eBay and buy one of these. Um, it's actually not all that easy. This is the fourth one of these that I bought before I found one that would actually convince the camera that it was a Sony battery. All of the others, I would still get the, you know, warning, this is not an official info lithium battery thing, and the camera would shut down. And uh, also, this channel is called Maker Type. We're here to make things, not to buy things. So the way I'm going to show you how to fix this is a lot more fun. Nothing too dangerous. We're not going to be spot welding any nickel strips onto 18650 cells or anything like that. But uh, it is a good way to kind of revitalize old technology uh, safely. So let's go down to the workshop and we're going to take a look at how we did that. So this is the Mavica as I received it. I got it in like new condition with a stone dead battery and a disc full of somebody else's pictures. This is the battery pack that it came with. It's an F330. Here it is compared to an F550, which is the size of Sony battery that I use in all of my other equipment. This is quite a bit smaller. And uh, if we open it up, we see the reason why. This has 14650 cells in it as opposed to the 18650 cells you would normally see in something like this. So to replace them, I'm going to go with a set of 14550 cells. Now the reason I'm doing that is because they are dimensionally identical to AA batteries, which means I can use this AA battery holder to hold my battery pack together. And the battery pack should fit nicely inside the old Sony battery. So the first step here is going to be to carefully remove the dead 14650 cells, and I'm going to do that just by carefully cutting through the spot welds and then removing them. Try not to damage the circuit board here. And then I've got some extra plastic to remove in the bottom of the battery case itself so that the AA battery holder can fit in there snugly. And here we can see that everything is going to fit just perfectly. I did have to clean this up a little bit with a file, but uh, removing a little material from the outside edges made it fit in there like it was made for it. It's a perfect fit. And here you can see the two solder points. There's the positive and the negative on the other side. There is a third lead which goes from the circuit board to the back of the AA battery holder and is held in place by this spring. It's almost like it was designed for it. It fits perfectly. This is the cyanoacrylate that I'm going to be using to hold this thing together. It's only going to take a couple of drops and then a few minutes of pressure and I've got a fully assembled battery pack with new cells in it. I'm going to charge up my cells in my smart charger here and then we are going to put them into the battery holder and test it out. And here's the moment of truth. We're going to put our battery pack inside the Mavica, close it up, hit the button and watch as absolutely nothing happens. At this point, there was a lot of cursing and poking things with the multimeter. So I suspected the issue here was dried out or dead capacitors. Capacitors can lose the ability to take a charge, but you can reform them. For this camera, that basically meant putting the charged batteries in the battery holder and just leaving it overnight. I found with a lot of cameras, because they're such low voltage devices anyway, that oftentimes just leaving the batteries in them Leaving them for a few hours, leaving them overnight will often recondition the capacitors. You come back the next day and the thing will work. Now this doesn't always work. This is not a, you know, magic bullet. I've got a few cameras right now 
where I've tried this and they're still bricks. They're still dead. There's something else wrong with them. But there've been a few cameras where this has worked. Uh, my Pentax DSLRs are famous for this. I've had two DSLRs from Pentax now that arrived to me with bad, I'm assuming it's power filtering capacitors that needed to be reconditioned. I put charged batteries in them, let them sit overnight, bada bing, they work just fine the next day. So that's what I ended up doing with this Mavica. I put the fully charged 14 550 cells in the battery that I had built and let it sit overnight, let the capacitors do their thing and came back the next morning and... So we take our charged battery pack, grab ourselves a blank floppy disk and here we go. We have a functioning Sony Mavica. I love this camera. It is such a neat little technological snapshot of the late 1990s. And I love this little Mavica logo that comes up when it's writing to the disc. And of course it makes that cool floppy disk sound. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope it's got a few Mavicas back in action. Uh, you can check out my social media links to see photographs that I've taken with this very camera. I'll include some at the end of the video here. Um, this same technique can be applied to a lot of other battery powered devices. There are a lot of uh, cameras and camcorders and whatnot from the same era that probably have dead batteries that can be revitalized by putting in a newer, different cell. So uh, best of luck and uh, questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Click the bell, all of that stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time.